been turned back to farmland. Hi, it's April the 7th, 2021. Yeah. April the 7th, 2021. Once again, I'm in Lincolnshire farmland. Where I'm standing at the moment was another A-class RAF bomber station created in 1943. This was RAF Dunham Lodge, about four and a half miles north of Lincoln and less than three quarters of a mile from RAF Scampton. Opened in 43 with the arrival of number 44 squadron from Waddington where there are Avro Lancasters. This was a Rhodesian squadron. The first operation took part on the 11th of June 43, part of the attack on Dusseldorf with 655 bombers taking part. 38 aircraft failed to return. Fortunately, all Squadron 44 returned to Dunham Lodge safely. In, I'm having to read it off this paper because my short-term memory is gone. In 1943, 49 Squadron operated from Dunham Lodge. This came from Fiskerton. They had trouble with the runway and it was being repaired. So they operated from here for those three months. But in 1944, 619 Squadron arrived with their Avro Lancasters. Both 44 and 619 Squadron took part in the D-Day landings. Reorganisation of Bomber Command in 44 so saw both 44 and 619 squadrons move to Spilsby and Strubby. A newly formed 170 squadron moved to Dunham Lodge once again with Avro Lancasters. Very little is left of Oria Dunham Lodge. Where the runways were, only farm tracks followed their path. Buildings, a uh, few in one of the farmyards. And this area, the only section of runway left. This road was once part of the runway. This area was the main runway heading southwest, now returned back to farmland. As you will most likely guess, the video shot with me looking up to the sky and the Lancaster overhead were taken three years apart. I'm not sure why I looked up at the sky at the moment, but I thought I'd make use of the video clip as an introduction. This is a diagram for the A-class bomber station airfield runways. The A-class configuration was set out to minimise the crosswinds to no more than 30 degrees on one of the runway headings. Each of the runways had the other two runways crossing at 60 degrees, forming the letter A. November 44 saw the closure of Dunham Lodge as a flying station because of the congestion with RAF Scampton, Foldenworth, Wickenby and Fisk Fiskerton being so close to each other and dangerous for the air crews. All five airfields were within a six mile radius. 120 Lancasters failed to return to Dunham Lodge or were destroyed in crashes. The three RAF bomber stations I visited so far, Skellingthorpe, Fiskerton and Dunholm Lodge, a total of 424 Lancasters failed to re return. In 1947 and 48, 
the British Motorcycle Racing Club of Great Britain held race meetings here using the perimeter track and the runways. They had three races for motorcycles and in 48 they had one race for cars, 500cc cars. I think that would be around about Formula 3 now. Um, and the car race was won by no, none other than Sterling Moss. The following year, 49, they all moved to another RAF station, ex-RAF station, and that was RAF Silverstone. And we all know what's happened and how that has developed very well. If they'd have only stayed at Dunham Lodge, we'd have seen uh, perhaps 2021, the British Grand Prix, Dunham Lodge, Lincolnshire. Got a ring to it. Hey then. <laughs> <laughs> How's your parrot? No <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. We were back at uh, Lincolnshire Aviation Heritage Centre at East Kirby yesterday. They decided to open the centre this Wednesday and the following two Wednesday while they do engine tests. You weren't allowed in any of the buildings but there was plenty of room for social distancing on the airfield. It was a good sunny day.